Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna do the initial setup and configuration for a point to multi-point job that I'll be working on this week. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have an Amazon store and I'll put it in the description below. Okay, so here is the diagram of what will be going on. In the main house, there is a UDM Pro that is existing already and we need to get internet to these other two barns. We can't trench a conduit to these barns, so we came up with a wireless solution. So on the main house, we're using the AirMax Light AP AC, which is capable of doing point to multipoint, and the speed throughput is 450 megabits per second. On each of the barns, we're gonna be using a NanoBeam 5AC Gen 2, which is also capable of 450 megabits per second, and then we're gonna use a Unify eight port switch. In the one barn, we're using a Nano HD, and on the other barn, we're also using a Nano HD, but I'm gonna be connecting a Unify 6 Lite to this barn here, as that's what I have in my office. This is a pretty flat network. They just need internet connectivity. They don't need any VLANs. They don't need anything like that. So the UDM Pro right now is sitting on 192.168.1.x slash 24. By default, all the antennas will default to 192.168.1.20. And we're gonna to have to configure them individually to set a static IP on them. If your network is off of the 192.168.1 network, you need to make sure that your computer that you're configuring the antennas with are on the same 192.168.1 network. So the first one we'll do is the AirMax Lite APAC. So I'm gonna get it plugged in and then we'll get over to it. So if we bring up a command prompt, we should be able to ping 192.168.1.20 and we can. So let's go over to that IP address. Okay, now we're on the Light APAC. It's gonna ask us for the device country. I'm in Canada, so we'll scroll down to go to Canada. And then my language is English, and we're gonna to agree to the ubiquity terms and press continue. The next screen, it's gonna ask you to create a username and password. I'll put in Mac Telecom and then a password. You should make it strong, but for this video, I'll just do test one, two, three, four, and then we'll confirm at test one, two, three, four and press save. So here's the dashboard for the Light APAC. This is our throughput capacity. We can see there's no SSID configured and then there's the throughput capacity on the other side and we have no remote end connected. First thing we'll do, we'll give this a static IP. So we'll go over to the network and here, this is where you're gonna put in your static IP information. If you're using another subnet, like 192.168.10.1/24, you'll wanna change that here. But for me, we're on the 192.168.1 network, so we'll be putting in 192.168.1.200 for this light APAC, and then I'll press save. And this will redirect us to the new static IP. Okay, now it's redirected us back. We need to put in our username of Mac Telecom, and then we need to put in our password of test1234 and press log in. Now what we're gonna wanna do, we wanna go over to the wireless. And for this station, we wanna set it to the access point. I'm gonna leave everything else on default, but in other videos, I will go more in depth with what these switches do. Next, we need to create an SSID that we're gonna be using on all the access points. I'll call it Mac Telecom. And then we'll use the password of test1234. And then we're gonna press save. Now our light APAC is configured, we need to configure these two nano beams. So we'll start on the one nano beam. Now the nano beam is connected to power and network. It should be getting the IP of 192.168.1.20. And we can confirm that by pinging 192.168.1.20. And we could see that it's up. So now let's log into it. Now it's gonna ask us the same question. So select our country, which is Canada, English, and then we'll agree to the terms. We'll give it a username, a Mac Telecom, and the password of test1234. And now we need to set a static IP on this, so we'll go to network. And I'm gonna change this one to 192.168.1.201 and press save changes. All right, and now we're directed back to 192.168.1.201. We'll put in the username, a Mac Telecom, and then we'll put in our password of test1234. Now we need to go over to the wireless. Here we don't need to set this to access point mode or point to point mode. All we need to do is go to our SSID and make it the same as our light APAC, so Mac Telecom. And then the pre-shared key will be test1234 and then press save. 
After a few minutes, we should see some traffic going between these two antennas. Now, after a few minutes, we could see some traffic going between, so 345 megabits per second by 76.95. So now we have to do our last nano beam. Now we have our last nano beam plugged in. We need to do the same thing. Go down and choose our country and then our language and press agree. Need to give it our username, a Mac telecom, and then a password of test1234. Now we need to set a static IP, so we'll go over to network. And this nano beam will have IP 192.168.1.202, and we'll press save. Now we're redirected to the new IP. We're gonna log in with Mac Telecom and then test one, two, three, four. And now we need to set up the wireless. So we'll click on wireless and we'll go down to the SSID. We'll give it the SSID of Mac Telecom and then the pre-shared key of test one, two, three, four and press save changes. Again, this is gonna take a few minutes for us to see some throughput. Okay, now on the second nano beam, we could see throughput going through. And if we go to the light APAC, we could look down below and we could see our stations. We now have two nano beam stations. And the signal on these aren't gonna be that great because they're all just sitting in my office right now. But now we need to get the switches and the access points hooked up to the remote stations. Okay, so I'll show you guys how I have this currently connected. So we're using a PoE injector, which is just plugged into a wall outlet. Um, and this is our one nano beam, which is giving us network wirelessly. So the nano beam is plugged into the PoE side of the PoE injector. And then our LAN port is going down to this eight port switch. And the nano beam will give this switch network access. From the eight port switch, we have a cable going to our U6 light, which is waiting to be adopted, and it will be the same on the other switch. Now everything's plugged in. We have both of our switches and both of our access points and all of our wireless links up. We need to go over to our UDM Pro to adopt these switches and access points. Now if we go to our device tab in our UDM Pro, we should see all the new gear. And as you can see, we have two access points and two switches ready to be adopted. So let's go ahead and adopt them. While we're waiting for the devices to adopt and provision, let's create a wireless network. So I'll go to settings and then we'll go to wireless networks. Here, we're gonna create a new wireless network and I'll call it test. And we'll use a WPA personal and it will be of test one, two, three, four. And the network, we're just gonna use the LAN network and we'll press save. Now we can see all of our devices adopted in our UDM. Let's go ahead and run a speed test on the Wi-Fi network that I created. So we can see that my iPhone is connected to the Nano HD on 192.168.1.18. Let's run the speed test. And we're getting 204 megabits per second down and 54.5 up. That's pretty good speeds seeing as we're doing a Wi-Fi bridge between the nano beam and the light APAC. So that was basic configuration and setup to get you guys going and to get all your networking devices into your controller. If you guys have questions about this video, please leave it in the description below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.